Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. Now, despite the prevalence of gigabit broadband, CSPs remain challenged by today's in-home Wi-Fi solutions, which are often affected by complex installation processes, limited interoperability and inconsistent coverage, all of which can lead to frustrated customers. Well, Nokia is addressing these challenges with the launch of Corteca, its end-to-end -end home connectivity software. And here to explain more is Justin Doucette, who is head of Wi-Fi for Nokia. Good to see you again, Justin. Now, with multi-gigabit broadband services now commonly available, what do you see as the remaining challenges for a broadband service to be successful? Yeah, well, good to see you again, Guy. Um, certainly the new battleground is in the home. So it's quite common for operators to be bringing multi-gigabit services to the home, whether it's through their fiber deployments or their 5G fixed wireless access deployments. Um, but we're seeing more than 40% of households are complaining about connectivity, even with this very high broadband service coming to the home. So um, we're looking at improving the in-home experience through smarter broadband technologies. So tell us more about Corteca, your latest product release, and how this can help CSPs. Yeah, so really excited about the introduction of Corteca. Um, it's a software brand, and it really brings together three really important products. So first is the Corteca Cloud. Uh, the Corteca Cloud is important to provide remote management of both the Wi-Fi as well as the devices. Um, it also has uh, includes Corteca software running on devices themselves. So the gateway in the home, whether it be a, a fiber ONT gateway, a fixed wireless access 5G gateway, or a Wi-Fi gateway, or even the entire mesh Wi-Fi system, all these devices in the home are running what we call Corteca device software. Um, and the third piece is Corteca applications. And these applications are value-added applications that can create revenue opportunities for operators. So just focusing on that third piece, what kind of applications are you talking about? Yeah, so there's all types of applications we're looking at. The applications, are, first of all, they're available for subscribers. Uh, they're available for the operators themselves. And within the operators, there could be uh, network administrators or call center agents that can benefit from these applications. Um, very common application is cybersecurity. So providing a network security application for the home um, that can help rest uh, the, the, the mind of subscribers um, in terms of peace of mind, in terms of any type of hacking or cybersecurity issues. Uh, parental controls is a very common application as well. Uh, we're also providing applications for care center agents that can help troubleshoot and improve uh, the in-home Wi-Fi experience. So we have a packet capture application that allows them to actually monitor the traffic coming in the home to determine what those issues are. There's also uh, network administrator applications as well. So it's really a whole suite of different types of applications for the operators as well as for the subscribers themselves. So an extensive set of applications there, but what about the opportunities for a CSP to reduce their operational expenses? Well, I mean, the first thing is the operator needs to have some sort of cloud enablement. So whether that be uh, a cloud for device management or a cloud for Wi-Fi optimization, what we're seeing is when subscribers or in-home end users have issues with their Wi-Fi, they're often calling their, 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 their service provider. And the service provider needs to have some sort of tool to manage that experience. And it starts with the cloud. Uh, another great tool available to the service provider to reduce operational expenses is a mobile app that allows the end user or the subscriber to install their Wi-Fi when they first receive it, but also to do their own self-management and troubleshooting of their Wi-Fi in case any issues do occur. So really having a full end-to-end -end system. Obviously, it starts with the devices in the home, having great Wi-Fi, having mesh Wi-Fi capabilities, but it really does extend with having a cloud for remote management and remote Wi-Fi optimization, as well as that uh, mobile application for self-install and self-management. Well, we must leave it there for now. Justin, good talking with you again, and thanks so much for joining us on the program. Yeah, thank you, guys.